Howdy, and I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to use an ANOVA table for hypothesis testing. Here's our problem statement. A sample of colored candies was obtained to determine the weights of different colors. The ANOVA table is shown below. It is known that the population distributions are approximately normal, and the variances do not differ greatly. Use a 2.5% significance level to test the claim that the mean weight of different colored candies is the same. If the candy maker wants the different color populations to have the same mean weight, do these results suggest that the company has a problem requiring corrective action? Okay, the first part of this problem asks, should the null hypothesis that all the colors have the same mean weight be rejected? Well, we have the ANOVA table here, and notice here out of the end we've got our p-value, so we can use this, compare this with our significance level, and determine the result of the test. So, p-value of 0 0.6260, definitely greater than our significance level of 0 0.025, therefore, we can't fit the area of the p-value into the area of the significance level we are therefore outside the area of rejection, therefore we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we should not reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is going to be greater than our significance level. Excellent! Now the second part of this problem asks, does the company have a problem requiring corrective action? Well, here in the problem statement, it says the candy maker wants the different color populations to have the same mean weight. That is the null hypothesis, that all of the colors have the same mean weight. We fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means it could be true. And if it's true, then the candy maker is getting what the candy maker wants. And so, therefore, there's no problem requiring corrective action. So the answer is going to be no, no corrective action is required because, uh, let's see here, it's likely the candies do not have equal mean weights. No, it's likely that they do. So we're going to select answer A. You know, it's got this awkward double negative, not likely that the candies do not have equal mean weights. It's like saying, yeah, because it's likely they do have the same weight. Excellent. And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.